the fact that my landscapes are in little parts, possessable parts, reflects how the landscape exists in the United States today um, and previously. You know, the American landscape is structured on the grid, uh, the, the sections, you know, of how the land was sold or given away by the, by the railroads and the government in our early days. It's how we see it. The American Grasslands uh, series is much bigger than what you see here in the museum. Um, it was 112 panels divided equally among four different categories that I invented the categories. You know, I assigned them. It's my work. So I decided, you know, to do the divisions as made sense to me, and I made the divisions according to uh, land use that I observed throughout the West, prairie, pasture, crop, and lawn. The particular images in the grassland series, most things were within two miles of my house. So I could take a walk along the cliffs and find specimens that were native, and so I could call that prairie. I could get in the car or on my bike and ride a mile outside of town and find a strip of field next to a planted wheat field, and that was prairie. A crop was on the same block. I mean, so it's very, you know, it's very interesting. You know, that particular series, the specimens were all very close to home.